Mr. Alex Tech drinking game. Take a shot every time I say TikTok. TikTok. In this video, I'm going to show you three key things you need to do to make sure that your DaVinci Resolve videos are TikTok ready. The first one we're going to have a look at is creating a TikTok specific timeline with a vertical aspect ratio so that it's ready to go. Next up, we're going to create some TikTok style text directly in DaVinci Resolve so then you don't even need to mess around adding text within the app. And then thirdly, I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way to create an export setting template with great settings for TikTok so that you can just hop to every single time you want to export a video for TikTok. So here's my DaVinci Resolve. As you can see, I've got a completely blank project. We've got nothing in the media pool, nothing here at all. You need to make sure that you do this before you import any media. So I'm going to come down to the cog in the bottom right hand corner and give that a click to open up my project settings. Now you can see my timeline resolution is 1920 by 1080. 1080p is the perfect resolution for TikTok, but we just need to flip it. So that's currently a landscape format. We just need to turn it into a portrait format. So what we need to do really simply is swap these two numbers around. So 1920 is going to become 1080 and 1080 is going to become 1920. Underneath there, you've got your timeline frame rate. Now you just need to make your frame rate the frame rate that you recorded at. TikTok can take videos up to 60 frames per second. Just double check what you're recorded in and then set your timeline frame rate accordingly. From this menu on the left, go to image scaling, come down to this input scaling and you've got mismatched resolution files. It will currently say scale entire images to fit. Just change that to be scale full frame with crop and then just hit save. And now we can just start to import some media like you would in any other project. Now that's how you start a brand new project ready for TikTok. If you've already got an existing project, it's a very similar thing, but you just need to do it slightly differently. So I'll show you that now. So this is an existing project, which I want to just make a quick cut that's ready for TikTok. So rather than going to the cog to create a new timeline, what we need to do is just click on file and then new timeline, or we can use the keyboard shortcut of control and N. Then it'll ask us to create a new timeline. We'll give it a name. I'm just going to go with TikTok. And then we need to untick this project settings. So then we get all of these options at the top. We're then going to go to format. And again, we've got this timeline resolution. This is set to a custom widescreen 4K timeline resolution. So I'm just going to change this to be 1080 by 1920, the same as we did before. And then the mismatch resolution option is still within the format tab just at the bottom here. So we'll change that to be full frame with crop and then we just hit create and that will open this TikTok timeline and then we can just drop all of our footage onto here and do whatever we need to do and then it's good to go right now I'm just going to hop back into this TikTok specific project because it's a little bit easier to show you what's going on so this is our vertical timeline now because we set that image scaling if I grab any of my footage drop it onto my timeline it automatically zooms in to fill the frame so as you can see, we haven't got it in the middle. It doesn't look like this. It's fully expanded. So we don't have to mess around making it to fill this vertical frame, which is really handy. If you need to just move it around to relocate it, there's a few ways that you can do it. Give it a click on your timeline, so it's highlighted in red. And then you can click on this little drop down. Make sure you're on transform. And then you can just click and drag it around to move it around like so. Alternatively, if you just want to mess around moving the left and right, the slightly easier way, give it a click, open up the inspector in the top right hand corner, and then here you've got the X position. We can just click and drag, moving it left and right. So I've got my little surfer dude here. Obviously, I don't want just this bit. I want to move it over here. And then if we hit play, that looks perfect and it's ready to go. And then we can just build up our timeline, put in our footage on here, Everything will scale automatically, so all we need to do is mess around with the position just to get it looking exactly as we want it. And that's it. So you've set up the timeline, you've imported the footage, it will scale, so then you just need to move it to get it looking just right. Add some music, do whatever you want to do, just treat it like a normal DaVinci Resolve project. You can add any transitions, do whatever you want. Now for text, let me show you how to create that TikTok style text. So open up the effects library. Come down here and expand the toolbox and then go to titles and you want to grab this one here. It's called the text plus. And we're going to drag that and we're going to put it above our footage like so. I'm just going to lengthen this out so we can actually see what we're doing. Now I'm going to give my text plus a click on the timeline so it's highlighted in red. And we're going to open up the inspector, video, title. So in this text box here, we can just put whatever we want. So I'm going to put 
Mr. Alex Tech is ready for tick tuck. Underneath there, you've got your font. So just change the font to whatever you want it to be. I'm going to go with Montserrat. It's a really nice free font. You could check it out. Then you've got your color and your size. Now, now this is the color of the font itself. So amend the color of the font, change the sizing to get it just as you want it. And then one last thing I recommend that you do, underneath there, you've got this line spacing. Reduce that so that your text is much closer together like so. You'll see why in a moment. Then just scroll up. Underneath this title, you've got all these different headings. Click on the one called shading. Then under this shading elements, you've got select element and it's number one. Change that to number four and then click on this enabled box. And that will give you your text this blue border. Scroll down a little bit, you can see you've got level and it says character. So at the moment there's a border around each character. We need to change that to be line and then you'll get a border around each of the lines. Scroll down a little more, change this round from zero, just scale that up and you start to see that these rounded edges look much nicer and it looks much more like the TikTok style text. And then lastly you've got color, click on the color I've, mine's blue currently, let's just set it to black and then click on OK. And there we go. Now we've got this black Mr. Alex Tech and it's all ready to go. If you need to change the text, just go back to that text heading and then we can just change this and put YouTube ready, good to go, whatever. And as soon as you type, it'll automatically have that background. And then at any point you can go, let's go and change this text color to black. We'll hop back into shading and we'll change the background to white instead and there you go. If you want to move this around the easiest way to do it again with the text highlighted click on your little transform underneath your preview window and then you can just move it around put it where you want it. We can use this line here just to rotate the text scale it do whatever we want and there we go we've got our TikTok style text. Quick note if you want to save that text for next time so you don't have to recreate everything whenever you do a TikTok simply go to view Make sure that power bins are enabled, show power bins as you can see here. You have power bins appear within your media pool. I'm gonna open up my power bin. I can then grab this text, drag it into my power bin, give it a click, I can rename it. So I'm gonna call this TikTok. And now whenever I'm in a project, I can just open up my power bin, drag this over, onto my timeline and it's ready to go. If you want to know more information about power bins, click on the video linked on screen now, which is also linked down in the description below. So here we are, we've done everything that we need to do. So now we just need to export it. So now we're just gonna jump into our deliver tab. Now there are a couple of different ways to do this. This is my preferred method. At the top here, you've got a bunch of different templates that you can use. There's one called YouTube. And then you should see all of these options down here. Now using this YouTube one as a base for your template is great because it's got most of the settings already set. So first things first, you've got this resolution. It is 1080p, it's the wrong way around. So all you need to do is give it a click, go to custom, and then just swap these numbers around. Don't worry, we'll only have to do this once because we're gonna save this as a template. Then you've got your frame rate. That will pull through from whatever you set your timeline frame rate to be. So mine's 25. Format MP4, that's perfect. 264, that's perfect. And then the audio, again, that can be left as it is. Then what you need to do up here, there's these three little dots. Give that a click and you've got save as a new preset. Give that a click. And then you can add a name. So I'm just going to call this TikTok and then click on OK. Now, if we scroll over to the far left, you see this little icon. It's sort of folders with a little DaVinci Resolve icon on it. We click the little drop down. You can see any presets you've set up before. And we now have one called TikTok. So we can give that a click. And we've got all of our options saved. So we've got this vertical 1080 resolution, our frame rate. Because we selected YouTube, it's already set our quality to be 10,000 kilobits per second. 10,000 should work well, but experiment, go 15, go 20, and just see if you can really notice any difference or just leave it as 10 and see how you get on. Then all you need to do is to set your file name at the top. I'm just going to call this TikTok Surf Location. I'm just going to hit Browse and select my location. So I'm just gonna put this on my desktop for now. And then we can add this to the render queue. It'll move over to the right hand side and then we can render all. Now, the great thing about that is whenever you come into a project in the future, you don't need to do any of that. You can just go into the deliver tab, scroll right over to the left, click on TikTok and everything will be saved. So it's ready to go. So then all that's left to do is to upload this video to TikTok. So what I like to do, 
Over on the render queue, once it's completed, right click and then you can open the file location and that will open up a Windows Explorer just showing the file where it's ready to go. And then I'm just gonna to go to tiktok.com. I'm gonna click on this little icon here to upload a video. And then I can just go to my folder, grab my video, drag it over to here, and it'll upload. We can give it a caption, we can give it a cover, we can set up all our parameters, and then we can post it directly from there. Now, if you wanna see my video to see exactly as it looks, check me out on TikTok. I don't post all that often, but you can go and have a look at this video to see what the quality looks like for yourself. Now, if you did enjoy this video, thumbs up. Any thoughts or feedback down in the comment section below. And if you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button for me. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'll catch you next time. See ya.